Hi everybody, I'm uh, Rick Francisco, the lab technician for the Montgomery Hill Observatory here at EVC. Uh, walking up here, we're going to take a look at the observatory, three buildings, and let me show you what it looks like. The one on the far left is the roll-off roof observatory. The one in the middle is the dome observatory. And the one on the right where it says observatory, that is the classroom. So let's make our way up there. First building we're going to go to is the dome observatory. Alright, we're in the observatory and what you're looking at is um, a TMB 180 millimeter refractor with a focal length of 1620 millimeters and it has a F9 ratio. Alright, we will go to the front of the telescope. Here is the aperture where you could see the lens. That is uh, 180 millimeters in diameter. Or you could also say it's seven inches. But we deal with metric uh, measurements here in, in astronomy. <clears throat> we will go to the other end of the telescope where the observer would be doing their work. Um, right now, this part of it is the finder scope. This other part is here is the focuser, where you adjust the telescope to bring objects into focus. And this is where your eyepiece will be set up on top of. Alright, the next item is the German equatorial mount that guides the telescope through the night sky on objects that we wanted to look at or image. Uh, it has a motor here that's the right ascension motor assembly and this is the declination which are all controlled by the computer which is the brains of the operations here. It, uh, tells the telescope uh, how much to move and to keep track of objects in the night sky and it also helps you locate them. So it all works together as one instrument. Okay here is our second telescope here at the observatory. This one has a different style type roof. It's a, what they call a ROR, a roll-off roof, where the upper level here will roll back onto these two rails. So you have a nice shaded patio out here later on. But back to the telescope here, what we have is a 14-inch Smith Cassegrain by Celestron and the diameter is 14 inches and the focal length is at 3910 millimeters with a F10 no, F11 ratio and let me show you the other end of the telescope you can see the big main mirror in the back. It's a reflector. And then right behind this part right here is the secondary mirror which will reflect it back to the back of the telescope, that black tube that you see there. And let's go back to the other end of the telescope. And this is the focuser for the telescope. 
as you can see it moves it in and out for fine tuning and this is the finder scope up here and it also has the same German equatorial mount here that uh, controls which direction where the telescope is pointed to and here we have uh, the laptop which controls this uh, mount and telescope okay everybody um, here we have um, Dobsonian telescope that we have recently purchased uh, about two years ago so these are fairly new these are uh, they have an aperture opening of uh, 10 inches or 254 millimeters and uh, I'll show you the mirror down here that's the primary mirror and then you have your secondary mirror right here that reflects it back into the focuser. Um, this telescope has a finder scope here and uh, here is what it looks like looking down where the eyepiece is. So this telescope its uh, numbers are it has a diameter of 254 millimeters and has a focal length of 1200 millimeters and a f 4.7 ratio so I'll try to get it close so you can see here but I don't know if it's in focus but uh, this one is called a push to it has a computerized system here, keypad, that will tell the student which way to turn the telescope, either in the azimuth to the right or left, and also move the telescope aperture up or down to your target that you're looking for. And it also comes with a assortment of accessories you got some filters here you got a moon filter you got a sky glow broadband filter that helps block out some of the light pollution and then you also got a right here the RGB the red green and blue color filters I think there's also a yellow and it comes with two eyepieces a 25 millimeter which is a wider field of view and a 10 millimeter So and when you want to move this around, you just grab, there's a little handle on the bottom here to raise or lower the telescope and then you could also turn it 360 degrees in any direction that you want. So this is our new telescopes that are only about two years old.